Ford, a home tanks for Hot Rods Muscle Car and Collector Car Showroom, where we own all of our vehicles. We are not a consignment dealership. If you're watching today's presentation on YouTube, please be sure to check out our website, which is hanksters.com. There's where you can find all of our most current inventory. Our YouTube videos, we never take down. We leave them up at all times between both of our locations, the one here in Daytona and the one in Pennsylvania. However, when a vehicle is paid in full, that unit comes down off of our website, letting you know it's no longer available for sale. Hankstersgarage.com. Not only do we sell and ship automotive parts and accessories all over the United States, but more importantly, we install them. So if you have a classic car, truck, or SUV, uh, or maybe you have a Jeep or a truck, uh, you want to get a uh, new wheel and tire package, AC, disc brakes, power steering, uh, maybe an upgraded LED digital dash or uh, analog dash. We can do all that stuff for you prior to your vehicle leaving our facility. This way, when the car uh, or the unit arrives, uh, it's to your liking exactly the way you want it because uh, you selected what you wanted and we installed it for you. Hankstersgarage.com. Again, if you are local to us here in uh, Daytona, it's 2385 South Ridgewood in South Daytona, about uh, three miles from our showroom here. We do uh, very well with first-gen Camaros uh, in both of our showrooms, and today we have a 1968 big block to present to you, so let's check it out. Uh, it is a 454 that you are looking at uh, under the hood. Uh, does have the cowl tag there in the uh, driver's side firewall, so uh, we will have a photo of that up on our website, so you can break that down if you would like to. Uh, does have a brake booster back there in the corner too, uh, directly below the cowl tag. Uh, does have power brakes. Down here, you got your power steering reservoir, so um, it does have power steering. Uh, typically, uh, on an AC car, the uh, air conditioner is mounted, or the air AC compressor rather, is mounted uh, somewhere here on the uh, driver's, uh, I'm sorry, the passenger side of the car, uh, sometimes on the driver's, but more commonly, especially on the Camaros, it's on the passenger side. This car does not have AC. We do have the kits in stock to add AC to the car if you'd like. Let's check it out. Uh, blue in color, uh, does have the uh, peekaboo headlights, the hideaway headlights. We'll uh, see if those work here in just a little bit. Uh, paint condition on the top of the car is pretty nice. Uh, on the uh, hood up here, you can see that the uh, paint is not blistered or cracked. None of the uh, clear coat is faded. Same thing with the top of the fenders. Uh, take a look at the uh, passenger side there where uh, the camera angle currently is. And then here again on the driver's side. Um, these stripes uh, appear to me to be painted on and then cleared over. So uh, those are on each fender. Uh, there is a little chip there in the top of the driver's side uh, front fender. A little chip out of the paint right there. Uh, grill looks to be in pretty good condition. Front bumper, same thing. Uh, the uh, chrome looks good. Uh, nothing's peeling. Uh, nothing's pitted around your bumper bolts in nice condition. Uh, the lower spoiler on this car is painted. Uh, it's painted blue, the same color as the car. So, Taking a uh, walk around the vehicle, you do have your 454 badging there on the uh, front of the driver's side front fender. Uh, paint on the fender, both high and low, look to be in pretty good shape. So up here, good. Down low. <clears throat> we'll get nice and low uh, with the camera for you. And then, of course, you also have your still photos on our website that you can take a look at. Five-star American racing wheels, kind of like that gunmetal gray uh, on the spokes. And then your um, uh, beauty ring or the ring on the outside is like a uh, brushed aluminum look, or, uh, steel look. Really a nice-looking wheel that offsets the car quite nicely. Uh, rocker molding down low there looks to be in pretty nice shape. Uh, aluminum rocker molding that uh, uh, spans the entire length of the uh, rocker there, uh, front fender uh, on the driver's side, the rocker, and then, of course, part, a portion of the rear quarter. Uh, your wiper arms, chrome. Front windshield looks to be in pretty good shape. Uh, chrome around the front windshield, uh, installed properly, looks to be in good condition. Uh, I don't see anything uh, chipped or cracked that I can see. A little tiny one right there, I guess, a little tiny chip in the windshield right above the uh, wiper blade. Uh, the rest looks to be in pretty good shape. Dual mirrors, 
uh, chrome, little bow tie on the back, one on the driver door, one on the passenger door. <clears throat> uh, overall fitment uh, of the doors on the car, uh, you know, the fenders, the uh, rear quarters, the body lines, everything looks to be in pretty good shape. You can see on your driver's side here, the door, uh, the gap is pretty good here from the top to the bottom of the door. Same thing with the uh, gap in the uh, front fender area. Looks to be in pretty good shape as well. And the door fits nicely to the car. You get a better angle of that when we're further back around the car uh, at the rear quarter of the vehicle, so we'll check that out. Uh, no chrome on the drip rails. The drip rails are just painted, so that's uh, in pretty good shape. <clears throat> Overall condition of the uh, paint on the roof looks to be in good shape as well. Let's take a look inside the car. <clears throat> Start out with the door panels. They are brand new. <clears throat> um, and for those of you that are not aware, uh, this style Camaro door panel is expensive. We bought them. Uh, the uh, ones that were on the car were uh, dated, aged, warped, you know, didn't look too good. So we bought brand new door panels for the car. The uh, rear seats in good condition. The uh, foam in the seat itself is in pretty good shape, and then of course the vinyl that's on the uh, seat cushion and then the seat backs, I don't see anything torn or ripped. Uh, carpeting in the vehicle, in pretty good condition. Nothing's torn, nothing's uh, faded. Uh, floor mats, brand new. Seat backs in pretty good shape. Uh, you know, the minor scratch right there, uh, but uh, overall seat back looks to be in pretty good shape. Headliner uh, looks to be in good condition as well. Uh, dome light illuminates when you open up the driver door. Uh, the um, sun visors in the car look uh, fairly new. Driver's seat looks to be in good shape. Little tiny, uh, I don't, wouldn't call it a tear. It looks like a, a little tiny poke right there. It's not you know, highly noticeable, but however, it is there, so we'll point it out. Um, there's also a little right here on the back of the driver's seat, just a little bit, you can see, a little rip there. Obviously, it's where you get in and out of the car, um, but, you know, nothing else that I can see on the driver's seat in any kind of uh, subpar condition. Uh, Camaro floor mat in the front is a brand new one. <clears throat> uh, carpeting underneath the uh, driver's side front floor mat in good shape. You can see that there is an upgraded gauge package in this vehicle. We'll uh, take a look at all those on the test drive. Looks like a nice set of gauges. Um, dash pad looks to be in pretty good shape. You do have your aftermarket Grant steering wheel on the car. Center console staple shifter car. We'll uh, take a closer look at the interior as we always do when we are on the test drive. So now that we are around the rear quarter of the car on the driver's side, let's take a look at a couple areas. First of all, look at your paint low here. We get a close-up on the camera shot so that you can see there's no blistering or bubbling going on. On your classic cars, that's usually where you have problems. Low on the rockers, low on the doors, low on the quarters, so uh, this car's in pretty good shape down low. Also, your body lines, uh, the, the rear quarter on the driver's side, the driver door, the front fender, everything on the car is in, you know, real nice shape. <clears throat> uh, molding around the rear windshield, also in pretty good condition. A uh, hat rack doesn't look to be all faded. Uh, two Pioneer 6x9s in the hat rack. We'll see if those work when we're on the test drive. Uh, car does have a spoiler on it, <clears throat> painted the same color as the vehicle. Uh, that's in pretty good shape. Deck lid fits pretty well to the uh, rear quarters. Your chrome that encompasses your brake lights, uh, tail lights in good shape. Uh, front bumper, rear bumper quality about the same. Again, there's no pitting or rusting in the uh, rear bumper on this car. <clears throat> Inside the trunk, there's a brand new trunk mat. This is always the tricky part if I can manage to pull up the trunk mat without unplugging the uh, tail lights. Don't want to go on a uh, test drive with no tail lights, no brake lights. Uh, you can see the trunk's nice and solid in the car. There's no rust or rot inside the, uh, inside the trunk. How about the uh, passenger side of the car? 
We'll pause there for a minute so that you can see the body lines, the rear quarter, the passenger side door, the front fender, everything lines up nicely. The car has a good look to it with the uh, American racing wheels. See low there on the vehicle. We're showing you up close so that you can see there's, there's no rust or, or, or bubbling or cracks in the paint there going on low. It's the same thing with the top of the uh, quarter here around the wheel opening. Low on the front of the quarter in front of the uh, rear tire wheel. Once again, your door fitment on the passenger side, pretty nice from the top to the bottom. Same thing on the front. Once again, the door, uh, you know, it, 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 it's not all wavy. Uh, it fits nicely. You can see it fits nice down at the bottom of the rocker there where the rocker and the quarter meet in the corner. There's no uh, excessive door hang out down there at the bottom. Once again, I mentioned earlier, you have a passenger side mirror, chrome with a little bow tie on the back of it. Uh, drip rail molding, once again, there's no uh, chrome over it. It's just uh, uh, simply painted. <clears throat> Check out the passenger side of the car. Uh, brand new door panel, so that's in good condition. Passenger side seat uh, looks to be in good shape. I don't see anything uh, ripped or torn. Both seat cushions are in nice uh, condition. The center console is in nice shape. Once again, we will show you that on the test drive. The car does have that uh, aftermarket radio in it. We'll uh, check and see if that thing works when we're uh, driving the car. Once again, paint issues on classics are usually down low. You can see um, behind the front wheel, low on the door. Take a look uh, closely at all that area there. This car is badged a rally sport. We're not representing it as a true rally sport. Uh, you know, you have the cowl tag if you want to do your homework. You know, this is a 1968 big block Camaro uh, with a 454. Uh, power steering, power brakes. <clears throat> Hideaway headlights. Uh, we're going to take it outside. We're going to throw it in the air and check out the undercarriage. And then we'll do a short little test drive. In our showroom, we sell driver quality classic cars. Uh, what this means is these cars are not perfect. We try to do a quick 20 to 25 minute video presentation and show you both the positive aspects of the vehicle as well as anything we feel might be a negative that you might need to be made aware of prior to your purchase. We encourage you to come in person to look at whatever car you are interested in for yourself. This way you can judge the paint. We'll pull the car outside for you. You can check out the paint real well in the sunshine. We'll put it on the rack for you just like we're gonna do here in just a few moments. You can check out the undercarriage, the tires, the bottom of the motor, transmission, the suspension components. We'll let you drive it. You can see how the 454 in this one performs. You can see how the car steers, how it stops, how it handles, how it sounds when you're riding in it. This way, when the car shows up wherever you might be in the United States or in the world, there are no surprises because you were here and went over the car yourself in its entirety. <clears throat> We, at the end of the day, are an internet-based business. We do the majority of our sales online, you know, just like Amazon or eBay or any other online uh, advertising vehicle or, uh, you know, business. But, uh, you know, again, we are not a uh, brand new Ford, brand new Chevy, brand new Dodge dealership. Uh, we don't sell 2023s. Uh, you know, these cars have been, you know, repainted, motor changes done, interior changes done, wheel and tire changes done. So uh, we definitely encourage you guys to come take a look. We have a beautiful facility here in Daytona Beach. We have, right now we have about 70 cars in our, in our building. So we're up on inventory right now, which is a great thing. We were having a hard time getting some there for a while, but we are lucky enough. We keep pounding the pavement for these cars and getting phone calls. And uh, we have a lot of uh, cool inventory to select from. So. Check out the car you might be interested in. Check out our uh, business down here in Daytona. Check out all the classic cars we have in our inventory. We have a little gift shop. Plenty of things to see, do around here uh, so you won't be bored while you're here. Speedway's five miles one way, beach five miles in the other direction. Uh, you, got, you can go check out a Hangster's Garage. Uh, lots of cool stuff. So 
visit our showroom, check out the car you might be interested in before purchasing it. Let's take the 68 Camaro outside, we'll throw it in the air and check out the undercarriage, and then after that, we will drive it. Underneath our 1968 big block Chevrolet Camaro, you have disc brakes up front. A little bit about the motor here. Uh, so we do not uh, ever really remove motors out of our cars. Uh, this one we had to, and I'll tell you why. When we bought the car, the oil pan gasket was leaking. The only way to do an oil pan gasket on this car is to pull the motor. Because cross members in the way, you can't drop the pan. You can't even tilt the motor. We tried, you can't do it. So it's got a brand new oil pan gasket, and it's got a brand new rear main. So both are uh, brand new. Um, other than that, I don't have any uh, record of the rebuild on the uh, motor, transmission, anything like that. Dual headers on the car, both are in good shape. Later on, you will see the uh, Flowmaster mufflers. We all know that chrome flywheel covers and chrome tranny pans add horsepower to the car. This one has both. So uh, the uh, transmission pan gasket, uh, tranny pan bolts, nice and dry, you can see because uh, it's easily visible. Cross member supporting the transmission up is in good shape. Frame rails on the driver's side and passenger side of the car, both in great condition. Car does have frame stiffeners on it. Uh, does have an H pipe back here. Goes into a set of duals. Once again, dual uh, Flowmaster mufflers later on in the presentation. Floor pans on the car look to be newer. Those are way too nice to be original pans. So uh, you can see one solid piece here on the inside of the frame stiffener. On the outside, there's nothing silicone, there's nothing patched. Same thing on the passenger side here. On the outside. Once again, Flowmaster mufflers dual. Drum brakes in the rear. A lot of first-gen Camaros out there floating around with a big block under the hood, but a 10-bolt in the rear. This one has a 12-bolt rear end. Tires. Good tread depth. Uh, 2018 tires. No dry rot, no crack. Gas tank looks to be in newer condition. Got those huge pipes there to exhaust out uh, between the quarter and the rear leaf spring, uh, pointing down towards the ground. All the exhaust system's in good shape. I didn't see any rust or rot, pinholes, anything like that going on in the exhaust. So let's set her down and take her for a ride. Before we do that, let's discuss payment options. If you're a cash buyer, a cashier's check from your bank or bank wire transfer. If you're financing, the collector car lenders we work with will do a five, actually up to a 15 year loan now. 10% down payment required and then the uh, minimum balance over that five to 15 year period, whatever it is you get approved for. No prepayment penalty. So if you take it out for 10 years, you decide you wanna pay it off in two, they aren't gonna penalize you for doing so. So that makes it nice if you come into inheritance, uh, draw out of a 401k, you know, cash in some stocks, whatever your case or uh, circumstance may be. If you choose to borrow the money and pay it off early, they aren't gonna penalize you for doing that. Once the vehicle's funded in full, we do a pre-delivery inspection on the car. Uh, torque lug nuts, check tire pressure, check all the fluids, gauges, lights, horn, wipers, AC. Make sure all that stuff's working on the up and up. They're old cars. Anything can stop working. Anything can start leaking at any given time. Therefore, we give the car one last shakedown uh, to green light it prior to it leaving our facility to make sure uh, it's in the best possible condition and it can be before heading your direction. When it's through inspection, we put it through detail, then we dispatch a carrier for pickup. Typically, uh, we can have a truck here within 24 to 48 hours. It just depends where you're located at in the United States or in the world. Uh, you know, driver sleep times, weather conditions, holidays, uh, things of that nature. However, we know you're excited to get your car. We're excited that we sold it to you and we're able to earn your business. Therefore, we will get you your vehicle as soon as possible. Once we're funded, we work quickly. Uh, as stated earlier, we've been doing this a long time, so we got a streamlined process in place uh, where we get you your car. Uh, the whole transaction is conducted a lot quicker than you might think it is. Uh, most of the time, we're either waiting on funds from your bank or waiting on funds from the lender. Um, and then once we're funded, it's boom, 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 and the car's on the way to you. Let's set the 68 Camaro down on the ground. It's a beautiful day here in Daytona. We'll take it out on a test drive and see how the car runs out. Okay, we're inside our 68 Camaro. Um, horn. 
uh, wipers. Uh, temp, 180. We'll keep an eye on that. It's a big block. We should run between probably 190 and 200. Driver's side turn. Passenger side turn. Tack. Uh, oil pressure. Speedometer reads 449. Title reads exempt. True mileage unknown. Fuel gauge works. Battery voltage works. Clock does not work. Radio does not work. We don't do clocks, we don't do radios, so when you buy the car, the clock and the radio will not work. Um, dash pads in good shape. Sun visors look to be brand new. Headliners in great shape. I told you in the showroom, center console's in nice condition. All your uh, components there, or your shifter, are all visible, uh, nothing's really pitted, uh, none of the uh, plastic is cracked, so no tilt steering. Um, the car does have a little bit of a rumble to it. It is a big block with uh, large pipes, so you can, it's got a good sound to it. Let's take it for a ride and see how it runs. Inside our 68 Camaro, the car tracks nice and straight. The car has great response in the steering wheel. Check the brakes. Look at how those brakes stop the car. The car has good acceleration. Our temp's good. We actually kicked down a little bit. We're running about 175 with air through the radiator. It's a cool day here in Daytona. Speedo's working. It's not uh, bouncing all around. Holding steady, 41, two miles an hour. We're in a 40 mile an hour zone. We'll test the brakes again up here. Um, no uh, squeaks, shimmies, rattles, vibrations. No uh, engine tranny vibration. Car has a real nice smooth ride to it. Put on our turn signal, turn signal's working. Car stops nicely. We'll give it a little bit of throttle here around the corner, see uh, what kind of juice this 390, or, no, this is a 454, I'm sorry. That's about 65 coming down now. I didn't match the throttle to the floor. I didn't want to lose the ass end. It, it is a torquey car. I mean, here we're slowing down and, you know, so the throttle is responsive. You know, uh, as soon as you, you hit it, the car's uh, responding, the, uh, the motor's responding. Our temp's good, 170. Um, all of our gauges are functioning. So here we are, 50 miles an hour. You can see the steering wheel's not shaking. Uh, there's no front end shimmies in the car. I'm going around a turn right now, but. Car rides nicely. You can't really hear on an automatic transmission. You can't really hear the, the, the tranny shifts in the video, so. Car shifts nice. Once again, we have an opportunity here to apply the brakes car stops nice and straight like you should. No hands on the wheel while I'm stopping. Again, uh, the exhaust has a nice throaty sound. Uh, nice smooth idle. You can see we're here at idle. Your tack's holding steady. Temp gauge is lower than it should be, you know, under normal circumstances. Normal operating temperature for a big block is around 19200. So this car cools very well. I don't have to keep my foot on the gas to keep the car running. Um, Nice car, 1968 Chevy Camaro, upgraded gauge package, staple shifter, nice paint, nice headliner, nice interior, nice dash pad, uh, nice running car, powerful motor, pretty cool stuff. 386-944-9219 is our contact phone here in Daytona Beach. Hangsters.com is our website. It's where you can find all the photos of this car today, along with this video presentation you're watching right now.
At full retail price, our 68 big block Camaro includes shipping in the lower 48 United States on an enclosed carrier. It also includes a powertrain warranty. That warranty covers engine, transmission, rear end. Major mechanical breakdowns are internal components of the drivetrain. It does not cover oil leaks, tranny leaks, starters failing, uh, battery replacement, uh, brakes. It only covers major mechanical breakdowns of the powertrain. That powertrain warranty is good at any ASC certified facility in the United States, so you don't have to bring it back to Hankster's, to Florida, to a Chevy dealership. You probably take it to that same person that's working on your daily driver. Is the price of this 68 Camaro negotiable? It most certainly is. If we negotiate the price of the car, the warranty comes off. The warranty is good at full retail price only. Also, the shipping comes off. Full retail price. We hire the driver, we pay the shipping, we make the uh, pickup and delivery arrangements, and negotiate it, the negotiated price, you take care of all that stuff on your own. Well, we got this genius up here trying to turn around in a U-Haul truck. So he's gonna slow me down a little bit. So the negotiated price, the warranty comes off, the shipping comes off. We can, uh, if you need to make shipping arrangements, we can put you in touch with a broker that can facilitate the shipping for you. However, you will make the arrangements with them. Uh, you decide whether you want to ship open or enclosed, and then you will pay the driver on delivery, cash or check. They do not accept credit cards. Maybe you're a collector, you have your own uh, 3, 4, 10 car classic, classic car collection. You have your own open or enclosed trailer. You're more than welcome to come trailer this Camaro home. We don't make any money off the shipping or market up. We simply provide it as a convenience for our buyers. And also, if you're local to us here in the Sunshine State, Central Florida, and you want to come drive this 68 Camaro home, you can do that as well. Hankster's Hot Rods is located in sunny Daytona Beach. We would love to earn your business. Our website is hanksters.com. Please check us out.